At five, with the police corruption trials over and the federal investigation now closed, the Tulsa police chief is looking to the future. He sat down with two news reporter Casey Roebuck today to talk about moving the department forward. She joins us now live from the newsroom with more. Casey? Well, this has been one of the darkest periods in TPD history. Chief Chuck Jordan says his focus now is on rebuilding the trust of the community. It was a shock to my system and, and all good cop systems. Chief Chuck Jordan says the actions of a handful of police officers caused serious damage to the trust his department had worked to build. In 2009, some officers were caught on tape in a Tulsa motel room in what they thought was a drug bust, but was actually an FBI sting. One of them was former burglary detective J.J. Gray. He and former ATF agent Brandon McFadden pleaded guilty to corruption charges and took plea deals with federal prosecutors. Jeff Henderson was convicted on perjury and civil rights violations this week, while his former partner, Bill Yelton, was found not guilty. Harold Wells was convicted in June, while Nick DeBruin and Bruce Bonham were found not not guilty in the same trial. Two other former officers received immunity in exchange for their cooperation. Now that the corruption trials are over, Jordan says priority number one is rebuilding the trust that was lost. We know all the pain and the emotions we've gone through, but we've got to recognize our community went through it too, because they trusted us. And they still can. The chief closed gaps in department policies when it comes to the handling of confidential informants and cash. He also returned the department to the beat system so citizens would come to know and trust the officers who work in their neighborhoods. For anybody that, that is, uh, is still concerned about the, the actions of the Tulsa Police Department, I ask you to sit back and watch and tell me again what you think in a year. I think you're going to be very pleased. And now that the trials are over, the internal affairs investigations begin for the three officers who were acquitted. Once the investigations are complete, they'll either be terminated, disciplined, or given their badges back. Live in the newsroom, Casey Roebuck, 2 News works for you. Casey.